Let's jump to the war here, and today we've got a saving a disaster battle playing as the northern provinces. We're once again defending the Bastion. We're at the Turtle Gate here. I think it's tier 3. So we've got a pretty decent garrison in here, but we're going up against three full stacks of Kurgans here. Which uh, includes a lot of mammoths, a lot of trolls, and a lot of Marauder Champions. I'm not too concerned about Marauder Hunters or the Norskan Warhounds, but yeah, the Marauder Champions could just grind you down. Anyway, let's just jump into the battle and see what we can do. Oh, right. Um, because we've got an army in here, we actually have a little bit of a strategic advantage to turn off control large armies. Now, what this is going to do is disable us from having more than 20 units on the battlefield at the time, because we've got 23. But it also applies to the enemy factions, so they can only bring in 20 units at a time. What this does is will slow down their rate of reinforcements, help to even the odds a little bit. Because, yeah, we... Might be able to win with control large army, but I guarantee you it'll be a lot harder. So we want to give ourselves every advantage we can get here. The guy said he tried this and he still couldn't even win it. Even with not controlling a large army, but uh, we'll see how we go. There's a lot you can do to defend the Bastion settlements. Because holding the walls is actually quite viable. Mainly because there's two capture points that the AI can capture to just win the battle. And also the Bastion Towers are usually very powerful. And since the enemy have a lot of monsters, they just walk right through. And you can't rely too heavily on just the, the towers from back here. Alright, so uh, let's just get everyone back here to begin with. So even with this, one army to one army, um, they have a bit of an advantage over us, just a little bit. Okay, so it's just a bit of a reset there. All right, we need to hold this position here more important than that one because this is where two full stacks are gonna be coming from. We need to make sure those towers are always shooting. Whereas over here, eh, not that important. So what we'll do is leave just one unit of peasants across both of these points. Yeah. Basically, when they get up here, they'll totally wreck the unit, but we just won't need those towers anymore. And if they just ignore it, well then, lucky that unit. Okay, then we're going to put Jade Warriors here, here, put you here, because putting the Lord up here is mainly for just extra capping power because if they put enough troops up here they'll disable our towers now generally speaking single entity lords and heroes have a lot more capping power than a full infantry unit also a damaged infantry unit that's taken casualties will lose a certain degree of capping power whereas a single entity remains its full capping power until it's actually been killed uh this one's on horseback all right so that's two jade warriors there let's put a Celestial Dragon Crossbowmen here. I believe they can shoot through this obstruction, which is weird, but I think they can. Um, yeah. I'm just trying to think of where to put them. If I put it here, I feel like um, you're just going to climb up on the wall there. Whereas they're pretty safe there. If I put it over here... Yeah, just do that. I can always move it later. Oh, wait, it was the first one. Whoops. In harmony. Okay, make sure those flanks there are protected. Okay, now the big question is whether or not to even bother trying to defend the gatehouse here. Because there's no particular defensive advantage. Once they're through, they're through, right? So, I don't think we should. I think we should just, um, let them walk in and get to the capping points where there'll be towers that we can use to defend it. Uh, they don't always go for this position first, so maybe we should build one tower here and one tower here. The problem is the towers in this area are bloody obstructed. And since it's going to be the large units that come through this way, yeah, look, it's, it's freaking awful. Freaking awful position. They, they just didn't playtest this crap. It's, it's completely, it's only got like one small area it can shoot from. Um, actually, why don't we not do that? And instead barricade this and this spot. 
That way they can't come up through here, because they usually do come up this way. And if we can control the flow of which direction they come from... See, I could barricade... You gotta put the barricades in at the beginning of the battle, right? If we put it here and here, then they should be forced to come through here. This is a much better defensive position because these towers here aren't obstructed. Right, so what I'll do is we'll leave the peasant... No, no, put the peasant's long spearmen down here because if they die, who cares? They're just chaff. But also I found in previous battles that uh, the AI will oftentimes come up through this way and flank you. So if we block it off, that actually could be really good. They still might try to break through, but from experience, they don't really try to do that. Never but we'll see. We'll see. If it doesn't work, well then we'll know for another time. Because you don't know unless you try. Alright, I'm going to put the Celestial Dragon Guard here by themselves. To just defend that, just in case it, you know anything really bad happens, we could always just bring them up as reinforcements. Because this will take a while to be taken over. And yeah, we're not even going to try to hold the ground there. What for? Does, there's no defensive advantage. And if they break through here and we hold them back, then they could just send units over here to flank us. Where if, if they do that over here, they're going to get towers in their face. Alright, uh, we'll see how this goes. So yeah, top priority, aim for the Marauder Champions, because they are the most dangerous to begin with. And these are Hellstorm Rocket, or oh, Fire Rain Rocket, same shit. Yeah, it's just not going to do much damage to Feral Mammoths. We need our Anti-Large and our Archers to get rid of them, and the Towers. Yeah, yeah, look at that, they shoot right through it. Yep. That's good. Shoot the Norse controls. Good, good, good. Uh, I feel like you should be shooting the Feral Mammoth. Yep, that's it. Don't listen to what I tell you. What do I know? I'm just a commander. Don't listen to me. Don't think they're able to shoot. Yeah, they're not able to shoot, but they picked a different target, so that's good. At least they uh, did a little bit of damage there, but it just they didn't fire at it when I told them to. And it doesn't even look like they're trying to get up on the walls here. So reinforcements will be coming in in 30 seconds, but if a unit doesn't rout, then they're not going to be coming in. Another thing is that when they're running through the gate, we can actually just turn the Celestial Guard around to shoot them while they're running through the city. You're shooting them in the back if they don't want to come up over the walls, which I don't think they will. They tend to prioritize going for the capping points. So the Marauder Hunters going up here, they're dead meat, but the Marauder Champions are a little bit of damage. The Jade Warriors are only tier 1 units. Okay, now we've got a Spellcaster here that is completely useless. It would have been way better for you to get a Yang as opposed to Yin Spellcaster. Like early game Yin spells, they, they just suck. Just straight up. It's just Cool crap. Alright, this has been captured, but... That's a bit of a concern. I think they're just going to run past, though. I think we'll recap this. Maybe, maybe if you ran over here... To recap it, because there's still things that we can shoot. I should have put maybe one more unit over here. But then again, maybe I shouldn't have, because then would be less units over here. Okay, I got more supplies. Let's pop this down. Never maybe turn around, just in case. You never know, they might hit me in the rear. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. Take off formation attack. Thanks to Inticity, we found out that uh, Peasant Longs... Uh, just, just all units in formation attack. It's just like 10% less effective while they're in there. It's a trap. Yeah, they're just trying to run past. Cool, 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 cool. Alright, you... 
So far, minimal damage. Alright, you can turn around now and just shoot them as they come again. So yeah, just let them in. And you'll see that these units aren't coming in because we denied reinforcements. Big downside of this is that our reinforcements will probably come in from their same location, which is weird, but uh, not that big of a deal. So now we just need to... Yeah, look, they're coming through here. Normally they try to get around the back first. So this is good. It's good. Alright, so maybe one of these. Just mainly for the melee defense. Okay, don't be shooting at the Lord. Because that isn't going to do much. Alright, good. Reclaimed it. Good, 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 good. Yeah, they're just running past. Okay, that's fine. This is why it was really important to hold on to these areas here. As our reinforcements come in piece by piece, we just shoot the crap out of them. But we don't need the position over here. So will not you come over this point? Don't put them down on the ground just yet. And yeah, they're not coming up here. Putting the barricades up here is great. Funnels them all into this position. Because this is a way better defensive position than this one. Because these fucking towers are obstructed. I don't know if they're going to try to cap these other points. Okay, we've got other towers here that we could put down. If they're coming up here, might as well. Because, yeah, this has got four tower positions. Really strong defensive position, but we definitely have to hold on to the other one. Alright, cool, cool. They're not even trying to stay up here. Great. Come back over here. They're just trying to pull through. All they want to do is get to the capping points. If I'm not mistaken, I'm doing way better than I did in the previous disaster battle where I fought at the Bastion. Like, this this setup is way stronger. Like, if I had done this in that battle, it would have been a piece of cake. Because, like, oh, well, then again, we couldn't deny enemy reinforcements. But the thing is, I was a, it was a scramble at the end of the battle to try to recap this position here. Because I had to fight in both areas. I didn't think to block these areas off here. Okay, don't worry about them shooting too much. Yeah, uh, maybe shoot at the trolls. That would be good. So far, so good. Yeah, just keep obliterating all of these mortar champions as they come through. And then they go through the meat grinder here. This one here, it's really just here for... Right, we do have the uh, power stone, but we should use that when we run out of magic. Um, that will run out of reserves. It's... Uh, it's more effective that way. Just chill. I could bring that one back here, but just chill for the time being. Alright, there's not much going on here. How about you just cease firing? Because you're probably just going to get more friendly fire than anything. And just let the towers do their job. Because, yeah, if we preserve their ammunition, that will uh, preserve our balance of power, inflicting the army losses earlier if we can maintain it. Whereas if you spend all your ammunition unnecessarily, then you're probably going to have to keep fighting them to the death a little bit longer. Yeah, they're not even trying to fight here. They're just trying to run past. And she's getting the odd kill as well. With her. And then they come past here and get shot by the Celestial Dragon Guard. Nice. All right, you come over here. This is working out really nicely. And nobody's coming in over this. I mean, they're trying to cap this. But yeah, they just don't bother going to the uh, barricades as long as you don't completely block it off and you build the barricades before they start pathfinding over here. So I don't know if you should build that at the beginning of the battle before they've made any decisions or before they've actually made it up on the walls. Either way, I think building it at the beginning of the battle is better. Warriors! No one's coming up our rear because we blocked it all off. 
Alright, so we've got another harmonic convergence here. Just give them extra melee defense, slows down their advance a bit. But yeah, these tower positions here are really good. Because they're not obstructed. Yeah, I just I just don't know what, what they're thinking with the, like, this shit here. It's just like... It's just straight up obstructed. And then you've got... A unit over here. What? Oh, don't worry about it. Um, we've got this position here where we can shoot through an obstruction, but yeah, it's just weird. Alright, let's bring another one up through here, because they're, they're just not attacking up this way. No, we don't want him dying. Mind is ready. A necessity. Astromancer, repositioning. Hang on, stop it, stop it. They're gonna get friendly. Okay, Nick. Okay. Lighting the way. Because yeah, the towers don't get friendly fire. Don't inflict friendly fire, sorry. Um But the crossbowmen absolutely do. Anyone coming from our rear over here? No, no, we're still clear. We're still clear. Yeah, barricades are great. As long as you build them at the right time. If I build them now, they'll just smash right through it. So the Jade Warriors, they're of yeah, doing their job. Tower's absolutely wrecking house. Um, oh well, one of their full armies came in before their second army. Interesting. So reinforcements come in at different rates now. Because before, in Warhammer 2, it would just pick one unit from each army to, to bring in. But they're not doing that now. Bounce power still even. Letting the Celestial Dragon Guard shoot because it, they're actually getting very important kills in. Good. Two Lords are dead. Good. I got a plan for you now. Over here, there is nobody up this way. You're pretty much safe to go and recapture this. Yeah. It, they're not doing a great job at aiming for it, but every shot they hit on the Feral Mammoth is definitely appreciated. Okay, that's, that's a much better shot. That is a decent number of kills on them, and damage. Yeah, don't shoot at the enemy lord, that's just a waste. Ooh, basically just AFKing our way to victory here. I'm not really having to make a lot of decisions, just keeping an eye on things. I think we're getting shot up by, the, by those Marauder Hunters. It's alright, they've mostly used up all their ammo anyway. Uh, maybe just run back a little bit here. Alright, down you come. And get over here, recap this point. And then that point. I'm a little bit reluctant to build towers here, just because... Well, they might, uh, they might cap that. But over here, they haven't started there. Alright, the mammoths did a little bit of damage, not, not tons. Probably should have had them on friend, uh, fire at will. Because yeah. yeah, shooting these ones, less friendly fire because they're big. And they're really important. So conserving ammunition here is less important than dealing with some marauders. Alright, all of this is still looking good. Still a lot of reinforcements still to come in. 
Might be a good idea actually to put. Well, I need him in here to provide capping power. If we ever lost this position, we'd lose a lot of uh, towers. Problem is, they just bloody go for him. Okay, no reserves left. Now's a good time to use the power stone. Because we'll actually get more than 0.1 reserves per second. As long as... Um, as long as our power recharge rate is better than 1 every 9 seconds. Which it is. And then the other condition is that it's a... a uh, you got to have 0 reserves. Because as long as you've got 0.1 reserves, you can recharge Winds of Magic. So basically right now we're turning... 0.5 winds of magic into one winds, which you know, isn't tons, but <laughs> it gave us a little bit. Okay, that's it. Just annihilate them on the approach. God damn, defending it like this is so easy. the barricades there. They didn't even try to break through. Alright, I got another one of these I can build. You know, they can shoot a fair distance, so maybe they're hitting the old target. Alright, you can see it's fire now. So this one here did not too many kills, but a lot of damage. That's because the mammoths and trolls got here. Bounce of power's looking pretty good. But there's still a fair few reinforcements to come in. Alright, how about we move this guy back so he doesn't get wiped out so that he retains his experience. And let's bring a Celestial Dragon Guard up here so we can maybe get some experience. Because they'll retain their experience for the next time they get attacked. Not that it makes like a critical difference, but you know, one, one or two extra leadership points, a bit of extra melee attack defense here. Um, it adds up. If you have a look, just one experience point is worth... Uh, I, I maybe it only shows you on the campaign map. Wind and fire. No, it does. Order and balance. Mm. Don't know why it shows it for that one, but not the other ones. Warriors. Dragon crossbows. Yeah, yeah, run after that. How are we going over here? Now oh, they must have run into something. Because, yeah, they, they definitely fought somebody here. Ah, oh, there were some trolls that ran into us. Right, right. It's not, it's not urgent for me to go recap those points. Lost a victory point. Ah, oh, it's nothing. It's nothing. We don't, um... We don't really need that one that much. Especially now that all of their infantry have essentially come in. Okay, come back over here. Let's, oh, it doesn't matter, there's the army losses. God, we obliterated them. Not a single unit got wiped out. We didn't need our three units in reinforcements either. But yeah, putting in the four barricades here, and then just defending this position here, so much better than allowing them to come into multiple areas. Defending one choke point is so much easier than defending two. Especially when one choke point, this one here, such a shit defensive position because the towers here fucking suck. But yeah, absolutely wrecked them. Barely even needed the Winds of Magic. You should get a good amount of experience for that as well. And then uh, just kill as many of them as possible. Although I can't imagine they're coming back again any, anytime soon with uh, with anything that's actually going to threaten you. All right, that'll do. So that's that battle done. So yeah, that guy struggled with that battle, but man, I reckon the barricades. That's what won us the battle. Because that just made it so much easier. If I had done that in that other attempt, holy crap, it would have been so much easier. Because one of the problems was that I was just stretched too thin. 
And at no point was I really stretched too thin in this. We defended the positions that needed to be defended, the like the really critical positions, and we just let everything else fall, and we blocked off the ones that we needed to keep, but were bad defensive positions. Absolutely wrecked them. And you go have some money, because you don't really need the replenishment rate, because they're not really going to be that much of a threat for the next few turns. Oh, lovely. <laughs> fucking... Oh, everybody loves fighting Zinch. Well, you can't do anything this turn. Now, I just want to point out that I had nothing to do with that, because that would have happened before the disaster battle, because Zinch's turn, Kairos comes before the Kurgans, okay? So that was already part of the save file. It's not like, oh, you're so unlucky, Legend, you caused that. No. That happened before I got here, okay? It's not my fault. <laughs> so you can't even sell you out in these positions or change uh, your positions at all. You can still recruit and replenish where needed, but uh, you, you really should be closing the rifts as much as possible. Looks like you're going to just let this fall just by being passive. Um, not really idea. They're just starving you out by the look of it. I'm not entirely sure what happened there. Um... The snake gate over here. So well, we were at the turtle gate, which was tier three. Seems like tier three is kind of the best because I'm not sure, I'm not certain about this. But if you go up, doesn't it like get rid of the towers? Like they just shoot arrows after that. It's fucking stupid. I'm, I'm not 100 percent sure on that. But yeah, you can't sally out anyway. You really should have closed off those gates a lot earlier than you did. And you've got big harmony problems and big money problems. Yeah, this campaign is not going great. Um, and you don't have any of the souls. Not that that really matters anyway. It's a shit mechanic. Um, where is Miao Ying? So, you're fighting ogres. Yeah. Yeah, this campaign's... I don't know, it's not terrible, but... You've got to watch out because it seems like there are a few people that are getting their second soul. This is the second rift opening. Uh, I, I'd be... I'd be uh, a little bit concerned if I were you. You you need to do something about this. Um, if you went into the realm of Slanesh each time, you can prevent everybody from getting a Slanesh soul. So it doesn't matter if they get three. It's when they get four that shit hit, really hits the fan. So try to prevent that by just at least making sure that nobody gets a Slanesh soul. You gotta jump in there first and go all the way down. Because if anyone else jumps into the realm of Slanesh, they'll usually, if you're ahead of them, which you should be, um, they'll usually uh, like bail on the realm. And if they bail on the realm, they can't get any soul that round. So yeah, going into the realm of Slanesh just to cock block them can be really useful. Because yeah, the other ones uh, don't matter until they get all four. Anyway, that's the end of this one here. It definitely looks like this campaign could use <laughs> some work. Uh, but I don't know if it's quite a disaster of a campaign yet. He's still got a he's still got a bit of fight left in him. But oh my god, look at this shit! Anyway, that's into this one. Appreciate you guys, and we'll see you next time, fuckers. Bye.